this one is just for JT West about uh, weighing down the weighing down the cutting discs for with batteries. Okay? So what I done on this one is I welded up a frame quick with some angled iron, some scrap that I had. Right, there's no such thing as scrap. There's only a lack of imagination, right? I had to make the frame high enough for to be able to get the bolt in and out for the rear gang so I can still adjust it. And then I just put some golf cart batteries on the ratchet strap in there like that. And it sits a little bit further back because I've got a hydraulic top link so I can I can put the pressure where I where I need it or where I want it. I can put it further forward or further backward because I can just adjust that instantly. If you if you don't have that you may want to if you want to copy this then you may want to just put them further along on the middle of the disc but in my case this this worked out just fine for me i i can i can put more pressure on the on the front or rear using the hydraulic coupling but it's really simple and those batteries those lead acid things they probably weigh i don't know 60 70 pounds each something like that and there's five of them yeah well one, one is a little bit smaller that's a group 27 i think but yeah it works great and you can adjust it you can just put two batteries on or one or or five whatnot you can probably put another frame in front of it and put another couple of three but then it's going to be difficult lifting the thing up because it is quite far behind the three point then you don't have much weight on the front of the tractor anymore you'll probably have to put weights on or something but yeah just a just an idea so there you go jt wes that one is for you hello youtube quick update what we've been doing up to up to here i cut this with a disc once brushed hog brush hog this part of it the other part was was the corn that i brush hogged like a month ago or so and then i disced all that stuff in once and ran the cultivator through it like a four prong chisel plow but with a wider wider tips uh, about a week ago and I probably cut it again with a disc in a couple of days or so but it's 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 drying out pretty good and then the grass is there's some couple, couple of patches where the grass is still coming up, but uh, I think we're winning. I don't want to spray it down. I just want to want to kill it by tilling it. So, and once I've done that, then I plant the winter cover crop in there: turnips, uh, radishes, those big white radishes, and um, I don't know something else just to keep it keep it happy over the winter and then disc it again in the spring but you know planting for the for the for the spring planting of corn and stuff like that next year so by the end of end of this month or beginning of next month i I'll, I'll probably start start planting in this one all right kids what do you think hmm? you got a stick you want me to throw it? Come on then. <laughs>